What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I'm going to be talking all about the aim assist mechanic in Black Ops 3. We're going to have a look at what it is, how exactly it works, as well as a bunch of misconceptions surrounding the aim assist mechanic. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so first I want to clear up a really common question that I get, and that is what's the difference between target assist and aim assist when you're looking at the menus and you can enable or disable either one of those. Aim assist within this menu is just something that's in campaign, and that's that mechanic where if you're somewhat aimed in the general direction of your enemy before you aim down sight, when you do hit that aim down sight button, it will kind of snap on a target for you. This is absolutely not in multiplayer at all, so we don't really have to worry about this one for multiplayer, and we aren't really going to be looking at this mechanic at all throughout this video. What we're going to be focusing on is target assist. This is the aim assist that is within multiplayer. It does not allow you to snap on a target, like you can in the campaign with the aim assist. So I apologize if I if I say aim assist in this video, I am referring to target assist or what they call target assist here. So I might say aim assist a few times, but just know when I do say aim assist, I am referring to the aim assist within multiplayer, which they call target assist. All right, so let's get into the actual target assist in multiplayer. There are two different aspects to this. At least I'm separating it into two different aspects. So the first aspect is when you're aim down sight or maybe even not aim down sight if you're within a good enough range which we will go over the ranges soon but if you're only using your right analog stick and you're kind of sweeping over your target aim assist will slow down your turning as it goes over the target it just kind of helps you lock onto that target for that little bit of time as you sweep over now keep in mind it's not doing all the work for you it's just a slight slowdown but this slight slowdown really does help when you only have that little bit of range of motion that the analog stick provides for you so this is what we refer to as aim assist slowdown. So it slows down your aim as you're sweeping between targets, only using your right analog stick. The other aspect of target assist in multiplayer is when your feet are moving and you're kind of on target already, your aim will actually track with your target as he moves and as you move. It'll only do it a little bit. It does help you a little bit with it. And one thing to keep in mind with this is your feet have to be moving or this doesn't work. You can be standing still. If you're standing still, an enemy could be running back and forth right in front of you, like you can see here, and nothing will happen. Your sights won't turn at all. The second your feet start to move just a little bit, this mechanic will kick in and it will follow your target as you move and as they move. So you can see right here, I am not touching my right analog stick at all, and yet it is still tracking onto my target, but only when my feet are moving. So that's something to really be aware of. If you're just standing still, this little feature is not going to kick in for you. And this is why strafing in gunfights is so effective, and it has been for many years. As your feet are moving back and forth, and you're trying to stay on target, aim assist is going to be helping you quite a bit. Plus, you're becoming a much harder target to hit for your enemy. So this is a huge reason that I'm a big advocate of the stock attachment on SMGs especially. It's not the greatest on assault rifles and LMGs because you don't move that fast, but on SMGs especially, if you're strafing back and forth in a gunfight, aim assist is going to help you a lot. So now let's have a look at our target assist ranges. So we have a different range for each different class of weapon for aiming down sight as well as hip fire. First we're going to look at aiming down sight and as you can see right here the Draken and the P06 do actually have aim assist. That's a common misconception as well. Some people seem to think that there is no target assist whatsoever for any sniper rifle in the game. That's not true. For the Locust and the SVG that is correct. There is absolutely no aim assist whatsoever for those two guns. But for the Draken and the P06, there is aim assist when you aim down sight. And the range of that is almost infinite as far as I could calculate. I went to a really long range and I still had aim assist. So I don't know what the exact number is, but it's going to be basically the length of any line of sight that you're going to find in the game. Next, we have assault rifles, SMGs, and LMGs all have the exact same aim down sight target assist range. And I just happen to know that this aim down sight target assist range is 38 meters. And this is based on hand testing, it's not from the in-game code, but it just happens to be the exact distance of the Man o Wars 3-shot kill range, which we know for a fact to be 38 meters, and therefore, that's why I'm saying it is 38 meters for ARs, SMGs, and LMGs. As for shotguns, it may look like it's not really much of an aim assist range, but to be honest, that is beyond the range that the Argus can even deal damage, even with a long barrel attachment on there, so for shotguns, the aim assist range is just fine. So those are the aim assist ranges while you're aiming down sight. Now I want to look at the hip fire target assist range. 
And as you can see here, the assault rifles have the longest hip fire target assist range out of all of the guns in the game. SMGs are next, then we have shotguns, and then finally we have the LMGs. So you can see the LMGs don't really have much of a hip fire assist range, and I think that's on purpose. They don't really want that to be too powerful, uh, too, too long of a range with the LMGs. I was a little surprised to see the assault rifles with the farthest hip fire target assist range though, but they are all the same. I tested every single one of them, and these are the hip fire target assist ranges. Anywhere beyond this, if you aren't aiming down sight, it won't slow down your aim at all. Also, one thing you might have noticed is the Draken and P06 are not on this graph. That is because they don't get any aim assist when they're hip firing. So for all you trick shotters out there that like to spin around and try to no scope people, sorry, but target assist isn't going to be helping you at all with any of the sniper rifles. So now that we've covered those ranges, I anticipate that a lot of people are wondering what happens when you add certain attachments to these guns. Does it affect your aim assist ranges at all? The only attachment, I tested every single one of them, the only attachment that has any impact on target assist is the thermal sight. And the thermal sight simply removes any aim down sight target assist. So if you're running a thermal sight and you aim down sight, you get no target assist whatsoever. You still have your hip fire target assist though with, when you are running the thermal sight. And this isn't just for sniper rifles, by the way. I do want to clear that up. This is for any gun. You can use it on an assault rifle or an LMG. You will have no aim assist if you have a thermal sight on. One other thing that is a common misconception, and it's kind of hit or miss, is aim assist through walls, or target assist through walls. Generally, the rule of thumb is target assist will not work through walls, but as we all know, all of us that have been playing for a long time, sometimes you do get a little bit of target assist through walls, and it'll actually alert you to an enemy's presence through that wall. I did lots of testing on the map Breach here, I couldn't find a single piece of cover that would allow aim assist to work through it with my testing, but I will admit, in-game, I have seen this before. I have been alerted to an enemy's presence through a wall with my aim assist before. I just don't know what conditions need to be present for that to happen. I couldn't replicate it at all through any of the walls, no matter how thick or thin. Even this green tarp right here, I couldn't get aim assist to work through the green tarp. So I really don't know what happened there. I tried to get it, so I was able to get some aim assist through walls, and it was just simply unable to. So that's all the testing and everything that I wanted to share, but I did have one last topic that I wanted to talk about at the end of this because I know there are going to be people in the comment section, particularly PC players, saying that you're a noob if you use aim assist, and this is simply not true. For those of you guys that don't know, PC does not get aim assist if you use a mouse and keyboard, whereas console players, with their controllers, they do get aim assist. Also, if you plug a controller into the PC, you can also get aim assist uh, if you're using the controller and not the mouse and keyboard. And for all those PC guys that use a mouse and keyboard and call you guys noobs for using aim assist on console, those guys are wrong. Aim assist is there for a reason. It's intended to be there for console players because of the hardware limitations that controllers have when it comes to aiming. Look at a mouse. The mouse is what you're doing your aiming with on PC. Look how much you can move that mouse around your mouse pad. You have about 5 to 6 inches of range of motion. Meaning if you want to make a really small movement, you can make very, very small move movements with a mouse very accurately, like little millimeter movements. But if you want to turn really extreme, you can also move a few inches at a time. And there's a big difference between moving that little bit and moving a lot. Now look at a controller. You have about one inch of range of motion. So the difference between making your most extreme movement and your most fine movement is almost negligible. It's barely, there's barely a difference there. This is why console players basically need aim assist and it's there for a reason, so use it. There probably are even going to be a couple of the console guys that come on here and say that they turned aim assist off, they don't use it, and they're an absolute beast, and everybody else is a noob for using aim assist. This is simply not true. Maybe, maybe you have aim assist off and you play okay with it. That's good for you. But don't go around calling other people noobs because they're using something that's intended to be in the game. This is how the developers intended the game to be played and it's to make up for the hardware limitations of the controllers. So that's going to wrap it up for the target assist mechanic in Black Ops 3. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.